I'm Ole from Flitz. I'm here today to talk about the janitorial industrial supply clean products that we have here from Flitz. We're going to start using our Flitz polishing paste. That's what we're known for, 45 year old company. It's a cream product, just almost like hand cream. And what we're going to start with is aluminum. Now in hospitals, your bus stations, um, hockey arenas, things like this, you're doing a lot of aluminum diamond plate around the edges. And of course over time they get water spotted and oxidized. Now for years we've sold flits used by hand. And as you know, it works by hand, but a lot more work. So what we've done now at Flitz, we've come up with also new polishing devices. The one we're going to introduce here is a Flitz buffing and polishing ball. Now these buffers are made of viscose felt, so they don't tear up. In other words, you can't rip them like foam and things like that. There's a shaft built in the back that'll fit in any 3 8 inch drill or air tool. And the idea behind this buffer is it does the work for you mechanically. And you're going to see a big difference here in this diamond plate rather than doing it by hand with a rag or a paper towel or even one of these environment friendlies. These are um, actually a bamboo that's actually used right now, which is really actually pretty neat because it can be used and reused and rewashed. But um, let me start with the aluminum. And this polishing ball I had put on to our drill over here so you can see how it fastens to it. There is a cover for the shaft. That's designed so when you hit something it doesn't scratch. Number one, if you put it in a wash machine, because these are launderable, by the way, you can wash these five to six times, um, the shaft always stays inside. Now, here, you can see this one's been washed a couple times already. There's still some black dirt on here, but by the time I'm done, this will be jet black when we're finished. So I add a little more flits to the diamond plate. I smoosh it around like this purposely so it doesn't spit all over. And as I go, I start going slow speed. And as I apply it, I go faster and faster. The object is, if you can use the drill up to 2,500 to 3,000 RPM, it gives you the best performance. And you can see here in seconds how it brings the aluminum out to a mirror finish. So much easier than by hand. And when I'm done here, unbelievable before and after. The best thing about this whole program is, Flitz actually leaves a protective coating. It's not just polishing it. Now I have a little small water bottle here. I'm going to take a couple of droplets of water on top just to give you an example how well it seals it. It seals right up so the water comes right off and over here it'll tend to stick. So once you do aluminum with this product or stainless steel or chrome or any metal for that matter or plastic, Flitz will always leave a protective coating. Now I want to finish this whole piece so those of you at home can say, well, what does it, use when I'm, what does it look like when I'm all done? I'm going to put a few more dabs of Flitz around the aluminum. And if you notice, I don't put it on real thick. I dab it around, but I let the buffing ball kind of smoosh it around, smear it around. Now, when something's really old, I'm guessing, you know, four or five years, really been neglected, you can let it penetrate if you want to, but you don't have to. Flitz is pretty much instantaneous. You might have to do it twice if it's really nasty, but as I'm doing it here, you'll see how this works. I'll take again slow speed, and then bring the buffer to it. So once I'm doing this, this will stay clean at least for a time period of between four to six months, which is phenomenal, especially when using it outside. Now we've done restaurants that have this diamond plate on all the walls and the restroom areas and things to show them that how fast you can do this mechanically than without a buffer. Now one of the stories I like to tell, you can see how fast this is, is time is the biggest, biggest thing we're selling. You, we need the time in order to do it. But as you can see, it's a remarkable. And within less than a minute, you've done a very large area. Now when you're doing a super large area, you can use tools that are corded or even air tools if you like. The rechargeable drill is great, but it does run on electricity eventually. Once this is done, as I mentioned before, you have between a two and three months protection. We do offer at Flitz a longer time protective coating. This is new from our company. We've done the Flitz for 45 years, as I mentioned. The buff ball is around 15 years old. But now we have what we call a ceramic sealant. For those of you who ever bought a new car lately, first thing a dealership wants to do is sell you a coating for your paint. It's like putting glass on top of paint. That coating is basically a ceramic finish. And this is the basically same product we're selling to dealerships, we're selling it to consumers like yourself to use on areas like this 
in a, not only residence, but also commercial setting. This is a 32 ounce bottle. This will cover an area, if you can imagine a full size car, you could do at least eight full size cars with this bottle. That's how long, how much it does. Now you spray it on very sparingly, it sprays on like water. Once you put it on top, we'll take our new bamboo fiber here and absorb it. And once you put this on, you take off whatever residues left over, the oxidation there, and then wipe it off and buff it. Now what this does, this gives you a longer term extended life. The Flitz polish in general, as I said earlier, will last between four and five months. But if you're looking for something for protection up to a year, especially if you're in a salt water area and you have a lot of moisture and oxidation, you put this on like this. Now you get a little residue out of here because of course the black residue. You can even use a microfiber if you like. Flitz makes a real nice fat, thick microfiber. It works the same principle. But whatever one you use, it, they're both environment friendly because they're reusable. Now again, by getting water on here, you thought the water was slick before, it's much slicker now. Putting this on is excellent for protection on any aluminum finish, especially outdoors. So now we're done with the aluminum, dry it up here, and put this aside, and I want to go to a piece of stainless steel. Now, stainless steel is exactly what it says, stainless, not stain proof. And we all know, especially in the saltwater regions, stainless steel will rust. Even your best stainless steel will rust. Now, we get involved as a manufacturer by a lot of companies, like barbecue companies and things like that, they have a rusting issue when they're outdoors a lot. Elevators, especially in saltwater regions, you know, in Hawaii or islands, you're doing a lot of salt and things like that. When you do this on aluminum, or excuse me, on a stainless steel finish, you don't use very much. It's the same principle as the flitz, but I want to give you an example what this does differently. Years ago, I did a sales meeting, and at the, during the sales meeting, all the guys were there, and one guy stood up afterwards, he said, hey, do you have a question, would you mind, when we're finished, would, could we go down to this um, basic hotel, and I want to show you some stainless steel that has acid stains on it. And I said, sure, we'll definitely try it. And I, I said, what, what was the problem? He said, well, the problem was this. There was a janitor, had a bottle of toilet bowl cleaner in their hands, Put it between their arms, we're going down the escalator looking forward. Not realizing the toilet bowl cleaner was open, and as they're squeezing it, they're actually peeing the acid right down the escalator on all the stainless steel. Now, there happened to be an Otis product escalator. Otis came to them and said, if we want this taken care of, it's going to be a minimum of $5,000 because you have to replace all the stainless. And I said, no, you don't need to do that. Now, you can use stainless steel cleaners like regular polishes and spray products, but none of them worked. Even our Flitz stainless steel polishes or spray cleaners didn't work. The reason why the Flitz polish works, it's a real true polish. In other words, actually it removes. People always ask me, how abrasive only is Flitz? Well, Flitz falls between a government standard, below the government standard, so it's not abrasive, but it's between a four and 5,000 grit. And when you put this on, a stain on an elevator or an escalator, like an acid stain, you put it on, you could do it by hand or use it with a buffer. I'm going to do the lazy way with a buffer. You go slow speed again and buff it as I'm doing. Put a little pressure on it. But as you're doing this, what I'm doing is actually removing the oxide from the stainless steel. And you'll see when I'm all finished, it looks like a mirror. I'm going to take a little paper towel here, the bamboo fiber to absorb the rest of the black oxide. And you could see the difference on the stainless. It's remarkable. Now, I know here you can't smell it, but I'm going to smell the stainless steel. And when you smell the stainless steel after using flitz, it's going to smell like raw steel. If you've ever been to a machine shop where they cut stainless steel with saws, it smells like raw metal. And that's exactly what this smells like. And the reason you get that odor, and that's one thing I told that salesperson when we were demonstrating, we're removing a very, very small amount of oxide, which is actually part of the stainless steel. It's super, super minute. Before we ever rub through this, you'll never rub through it in your lifetime. But the fact is, that's why this is different than a spray cleaner. You could see a difference, you can feel a difference. You get a little water on here, you'll see how the water beats up in the exact same manner. And of course, it'll stick anywhere else. But when you're putting this on, it's phenomenal as far as cleaning it and protecting it. But 
When you're putting this on, and let's do the whole area here again to finish this up for everybody here at home. When you're putting this on, you don't use a lot because if you use too much, it tends to smear too much to start with. Now, again, you can smoosh it around with the buffer and then just go to it. Now, I tend to go slow first and they can pick up the speed. Because we're just doing a larger area here, you'll see it's very, very fast. When I go different directions with the buffer, you can see the results in the exact same manner. Now this is true for water fountains, for escalators, elevators is a big, big business for us. And you see how this all comes out. Now when I'm all finished, I'm going to take a case of microfiber right here in front of me. I'm going to go over the stainless steel one more time just to pick up any residue from the polish, from the buff wheel. When you can see some of the black, it picks up right this over here and the stainless steel is all finished. Now, this is one way you can save a lot of time and energy, especially if you're doing areas, in, I said, outside, in saltwater areas, on escalators, around buildings. Um, I've been to a lot of schools and um, in nursing homes where you have it even in the, not only in the kitchen area, but in the bathroom areas where you need a lot of stainless steel. It's an excellent product for cleaning and polishing that way. Now, Flitz is a true polish. Now, this is not a regular maintainer. This is not something you use every day on your stainless steel. This is actually to take stainless steel that's all boogered up and bring it back to life. That's what Flitz does. Flitz brings things back to life. It restores 100%. So I'm gonna put this down over here now. And I'm gonna take a few other pieces here. I had my showroom brought in. We have aluminum here from a threshold of an elevator. And I also have aluminum which I'll be doing from a threshold from a home. You can see how corroded this is and oxidized. Now, again, raw aluminum like this, the big problem is not only polishing it, most elevators or escalators, they have, you have aluminum, they have brass, or they have bronze, one of those three metals. Some are anodized, but very few. Most of them are raw metal. But the first thing you do when you get onto an elevator or flooring, or the first thing you do when you open up a, a door you see the threshold. It's the very first thing you see. And I've had many salespeople tell me they've gained business from like not only hotels but even um, apartments and condo complexes and things and office buildings because when the consumer walked in and that threshold was gleaming, it said something about the service, especially for top contract cleaning companies. Now again, if you notice, I use a small amount. The good thing is you can do this by hand. I'm going to do part of this by hand to show you what I'm talking about by doing by hand. I don't do the rest of the buffer. But the cool thing about this buffer is these fingers. These fingers are around three inches deep. So when you put pressure on here, these fingers work right inside the threshold. So what you're doing, you're cleaning in between there. You're getting out the dust, the dirt, and everything else that gets in between there. Many companies that I go to that have escalators and elevators, they end up taking a toothbrush and physically going in between there and trying to get it out. But I'm gonna do one section here with the machine. So you can see how it actually functions. A little pressure on it. And you can see what a beautiful job it does on that aluminum. Makes it look like a mirror. Now, this is just one area I've done. I'm going to do the next area here with, the, again, our bamboo paper towel. And I call this paper towel because, again, it feels like paper, but it's actually washable, reusable, very environment friendly. Now, you can do everything by hand. You don't need to use a machine or a buffer but it sure does save the labor. And let's face it, that's the biggest thing we're all selling. Now one thing I noticed when I work with janitorial customers, they normally have the buffers and um, equipment like this used by, I call the maintenance engineers, not by housekeeping. Because normal cleaning crews and uh, the ladies cleaning don't always end up using the tools like a buffer. So that's why the maintenance engineers are really the one that you want to focus on with something like this for restoration. But this is not done every day. When these thresholds are polished, they're polished every three to six months. So it's not something you're doing every day, but what a difference if you can show the customer this compared to all dirty and filthy that way. And now I'm gonna quick finish the little spots here by hand, or the buffer I should say. I'm all set. That's all to it. 
So your elevator thresholds, door entrance areas, even things that are actually corroded from salt. Now, some of you might be living up north, some of you living down south. Anybody's ever lived, listened or lived up north in Wisconsin or Michigan, Minnesota, we all know the salt, corrosion, all the problems you can get. Now, these products, this is pretty dirty and you know, there's never been touched, it's been taken out of a building. Now, I'm gonna take the flitz polish and buff on this, but I wanna show you that you could do some things easier by using other chemicals first, almost like pre-cleaning. And one of the items that we work with is a calcium, lime, and rust remover. Because calcium, you know, is hard water spots, soap, salt, oxidation, things like this. These chemicals are made of organic salt. And this works like acid, but it's not. Now, if you ever put acid in aluminum, you'll know as soon as the acid hits aluminum, it turns instantly white, instantly. But this product here, it will not make it turn white, but it'll take the heavy gunk off much, much quicker. Now, I have a pail back here, just so you know I'm not going on the ground. But I'm gonna take this pail, and I'm gonna spray this chemical on top of this threshold. And the reason I'm doing that, I wanna show you, it's important to get the heavy gunk off first. Because why work so hard if you don't have to? Now, when I spray this on, this chemical is strong, like an acid. It's not acid, though. It takes safe on your skin. But after you're rubbing this, it just takes off the heavy oxidation and different things like this. Once I scrub this all on, I'm gonna take a water bottle here. Now, normally I take a garden hose if we're outside. I'm gonna take and rinse this. And when I rinse this, the water instantly neutralizes the product. When you put water on top here, it instantly makes it stop working. And this is very important to rinse. That's one thing I want to mention to you. This chemical, like any chemical, needs to come off because it is something that much more um, aggressive. But once you've taken it all off like this and you clean it nicely, we'll take it and dry it. And now we're ready for the polishing. So using a pre-cleaner, we actually have one called aluminum pre-clean for the semi-truck industry and corrosion, but in the janitorial industrial trades, we primarily sell the calcium lime rust remover to take off the heavy oxidation. Still a big difference already right now just by cleaning this with this chemical. Now, what I want to do is put, excuse me, I'm getting a little sloppy here. We're going to take our flitz polish, and again, we'll dab it on top of the aluminum. And as I put this on, just covering it up. Now again, you can do this by hand or with a machine. Let me be a little bit, I'll do, first of all, some by hand, just to prove to you how fast this works. Again, I'm using not a paper tissue, I'm using a bamboo towel here. But you can use paper if you want to, paper works just as well. But once I rub it like this, I'm taking all the black oxide off, and that's what you want. Once you remove the black ox oxide and you get it all off, that's when you actually can make it polished to a real high shine. Now once I put this on, see the black? It all pulls all the oxidation like that. Again, I take the towel and buff it. Now this is great, it does a great job, but it's work. And let's face it, we all want to work, but we want to work less and be more, much more cost effective. Especially when you're dealing in a large industrial area, doing schools, hospitals, nursing homes, restaurants, hotels. I mean, hospitality, of course, is all over. Your office buildings, anything else. But look at the difference. It is amazing. Now, again, in your home or your office or something like this, when you walk in, you see this or see this. What makes an impression how the, how the facilities manager takes care of it? I mean, it's just a, it's a world of difference. It really is. So I'm going to do, do this. Now the whole thing, and if you noticed, I just noticed here myself, the one side in the front didn't come off real good. And I noticed by feeling it, I'm feeling a coating of like varnish. What happened was, I'm sure where this was installed, they varnished at one time a piece, and it varnishes on top here. In other words, it doesn't come off unless you scrape it off. So let me just show you something. I'm going to take a little scrub pad. Now this is very abrasive. This is actually a 
500 to 1,000 grit pad, and I'm going to take this and scrub it. And you're going to see this actually scratches off that varnish. Now normally I wouldn't use this. I would use a varnish remover to do it the right way. But since we're here to show real quick to give you an example, I've taken off the corrosion air. I take it and buff it. And you could see how the abrasive pad actually scratched off that varnish. So once you get the varnish off, you're down to bare metal, you can bring it back beautifully. But flits will never hurt paint, varnish, it'll never harm acrylics, plastics, and fiberglass. That's why it's sold for metal, plastic, and fiberglass. So when you have something that's painted, it's not going to harm it, it's not going to break it down. In this case, this aluminum happens to be painted with a varnish, and that's why I didn't take it off. But it still gives you a good example of what it does and how it works. And now we're going to give you an example how to do the entire threshold with a buffing device. Now again, slow speed is best. Kind of spread our product that way. Make sure I don't get our camera guy all full of fuzz here and things, but as I'm doing this, The ball does the work for you, I mean you have to guide it and you have to give it the speed, but the nice thing is, it's very, very fast. Now I'm doing this in a showroom studio here. When you do this outdoors, of course you have to worry about the dust and things as much, but still, in a couple seconds here, you see the results. Now, again, as I was talking earlier, the varnish coating that's on here, it's not going to come off. Unless you use a paint remover like we talked about or, or actually scrub it off. But anywhere there's no varnish or oxidation, it comes out gorgeous. And you'll see the piece here. When I turn it here, you'll see where it's varnished on here, where it's not. And of course, that's why you get a nice bright aluminum coating. So a fantastic job on thresholds. Anything outdoors, we sell anything from the carnival industry that uses this on diamond plate and all their accessories and different things like that to make a nice finish. We sell to a lot of amusement parks for this reason. Again, we're talking about hockey arenas and different things like that, sports arenas, um, pool areas, works all in the same manner. Now last, I'm going to bring out here some brass and copper. Now we have a piece here that's halfly pretty messed up pretty bad, pretty heavily tarnished and they cleaned already half of it during another, during another show. But I want to give an example when you have something really, really bad, how you can take it off the easiest. Now you can put flitz polish on here and you can rub with a buffer by hand. It'll come off, but it's a lot more work. So again, the same principles before when we were doing the threshold. Let's take a bottle of instant brass and copper cleaner. Now this product is also made of salt, very similar to our calcium remover. It's something that's very, very effective on your bright work, your brass and copper, especially things that have been outdoors, like where they're green and the black, and I'm talking they're nasty. They're just have not been taken care of. And let's take this piece over here, put it above our area here, and this I want to make sure my pieces don't all fall apart. And let me just spray this right on. And as I spray this on, you can see how the chemical just starts tearing off all the tarnish. It just takes it off instantly. That's why it's called the instant, instant brass and copper cleaner. Well, as I've done this, it's starting to eat off all the gunk. You can take your hands, it's safe on your skin. You can just see how the tarnish just wipes right off. I mean, it's amazing how fast this product works, but it's still a very strong chemical. And I definitely want to make the point to you that once you spray this on, you take water. We just got a little water bottle here we put, poked a hole in because I'm not near a hose. Normally, I take this with a garden hose from, from outdoors, and I rinse it off. Now, once I rinse that chemical, I get the heavy stuff right off here. And I still have a little bit heavy tarnish left on here. Let me take this spot over here and I'll spray it. 
And again, it's an instant brass and copper cleaner, and you can see how fast it works. It really is a phenomenal product. We get a lot of compliments of this. We sell this product anywhere from 16 ounce bottles for the consumer use to 55 gallon drums. We have a lot of commercial customers that actually do the outside of cuplas and really old residences, uh, post offices that have tons and tons of brass and copper uh, casinos. And a lot of times those items are pretty well maintained. They're not real bad. But something like this that's been bad, neglected for a long time, I remember making a sales call to the Grand Old Opry, and if anybody's been in the Grand Old Opry, you know it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel, full of the old-time brass and different things of like that. But like anything else, um, budget changes and so on, all of a sudden things weren't maintained as well. Here you can see now the difference using the spray cleaner. We've taken off the real heavy tarnish. It's still tarnished, but not black and green and everything else like it was before. And this area is still pretty polished from the last show that we, somebody else, I, don't, I, don't, didn't, I didn't do it, but somebody else did. So what I'm going to do now, dry off my hands here, dry off again the metal that we're working on. And as I've dried this, now I'm going to take the polish and put it over the entire piece of brass. Now the good thing is, if this were a, a theater, or this were an area like a cruise ship, or if this were an area like um, where you're doing a lot of, I call, a, where's carpeting and so on. Unlike liquid polishes, you can put this polish exactly where you want it. We have many customers that have brass stems that go right down to the carpeting, and when you use other brass cleaners, the liquid gets down there, gets all green, and wrecks the carpeting, and eventually you can't get the stains off or get anything. So Flitz is much more um, easy to use that way. It's very concentrated because it's a paste. And the nice thing is when you're finished with this, you'll see the protective coating leaves behind. I'm going to take, in the same case, the microfiber. I'm going to do a spot here in the middle where it was tarnished. Real bad here, it wasn't tarnished that badly. So you'll see that by hand, I can still get it to a really nice finish. It doesn't have to be used in a machine. But when I use the buffer later on, you're going to see a lot faster. But once that black residue comes off like this, all the heavy oxidation, flip it over and bring it to a beautiful finish. Now we have some bars used as under beer tappers. People use it on brass railings, foot rests. And brass, you know, it's not as popular as it once was. Of course, I'm, I'm older already, but years ago, the restaurants like TGI Fridays and all these restaurants, they all had brass, but it became a maintenance head headache. So a lot of them got away from that. But there are still establishments, especially older ones that love it and have it, and do want to maintain it. Now again, I'm going to use now a machine, slow speed first. And you can see how fast I can bring this out. So again, if you have an area, a large area to do, this works very well. Just think of it like this. It kind of works for a railroad car. You can see the bottom of the ball, how it covers kind of half the rod here, and the top does the other part. So when you're doing a larger area, it could be railings, it could be stanchions, part of canopies, awnings, just makes it really, really fast. And that's why, for one reason, a lot of the cruise ship lines all use Flitz polish. We're very proud to say that we're endorsed by not only manufacturers like Crown, the people that make a lot of the brass rails, like you, when you go to hotels and you see their hand carts, or I should say the uh, carts for clothing and things with the brass, they all use flits and endorse it. We've been blessed with some very good successes that way. And you can see again, a beautiful finish here. Also, again, I'm gonna take a little water, pour it on top, just to show you how nicely it protects it. It leaves a preservative in the same way. So if it's outdoors especially, but more importantly, when you touch it, the acid from your system, perspiration is probably the biggest enemy. I'm not gonna say you're not gonna get a fingerprint, that's a lie. But we have a lot of restaurants or hotels, they'll take club soda or a damp cloth and just go wipe off the brass once a night. And that's all they do. Because once you get the fingerprint off, it stays nice and beautiful. Now we'll finish this piece real quickly on the other side. That way I can have a finished product for next time. Now the buff ball that we have right here in my possession is what we call a seven inch buff ball. We, you'll notice we make these in four different sizes, anywhere from two inch 
three inches, five inches, and seven. The seven inch like this is much larger, so it covers a bigger area, and that's why we kind of suggest using this like this, especially in larger commercial areas and janitorial. And we'll wipe off the fingerprints the same way. And you're done. So your brass, your copper, is the same principle, even bronze. Now I have a small piece of copper here because as we all know now with the COVID and things, the, the biggest thing is sanitation. You'll notice if you do some research that by the Cop Copper Institute, it's been proven that when you touch copper, your bacteria dies in 45 seconds. When you touch, touch stainless steel, your bacteria doesn't die, it just lives. And that's why you'll see your new hospitals, nursing homes, all your healthcare facilities are going back to copper and brass handles and different things of like that where you're touching it. It's more old fashioned, but it really does work. It truly is a back, uh, uh, automatic uh, I killed by nature. Now, again, this piece here, this is a brass and copper cleaner. You can do a lot faster if you use a spray cleaner like this. And let me just back it up over here and hopefully the cameraman can catch it. I'm gonna put this above my pail. And as I spray this on, you're gonna see how fast this chemical works. It eats off the tarnish that quickly. So again, safe on your skin, put this on. The only negative to this product is one thing, you have to rinse the chemical. So it's very, very important to rinse it. It's not an acid, but it works like an acid. And because it's made of salt, it's still corrosive. And if you don't rinse it, it will eventually eat directly into the metal. So I cannot emphasize it enough, it's very important to rinse it. But in general, it's still a very safe product, very fast, very aggressive. Big difference from what I start with. Now, to bring a polish to it, we take a little polish to it, your little flits here. It doesn't take much, you're gonna take a small dab of it. Put it on direct. And I'm gonna do this piece by hand, it's just a little smaller, easier for me to handle. I'm using, again, my bamboo paper towel here. I'm getting all the black oxide off immediately, and then bringing it out to a tremendous before and after. You can do this anything from collecting coins to copper hoods, cuplas, kitchen areas, copper cookware, any of your items that are in a home, commercial residence, plaques. Believe it or not, even for gravestones and places like this where, have, where you have green buildup and black buildup for all the years, you cannot even hardly read the monument any longer. Take the instant brass and copper cleaner first, spray it on. I mean, brush with a brush, rinse it with water real good. Once it's rinsed and dried, you can take and polish it, and it'll come out like a mirror. It's phenomenal. And it doesn't take much. I mean, this is a quart size can. This can of polisher will do around 2,000 square feet. I mean, that's a lot of area. Unfortunately, the good and bad about it is, most people waste our product. Now, it's good for me, bad for you. And that's why we try to teach to use a small amount. Using a small amount does two things. First of all, number one, you waste less, but it also takes less time. If you put on too much product, you're rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, trying to get it to a mirror finish. And that's why you notice when I'm doing it here, it goes very quickly. And the good thing about flits, I mean, it gets your hands dirty, but you can wipe, wash them off very easily, but major difference. Also, moisture hits it. You get the same protective coating as we showed before in the brass and how the water just dances around over here. So Flitz does have a built-in wax to it, so it gives you a sealer. It's not forever. It's good for between two and three months on the average, um, so you have to redo it again. But it does last a lot longer than a lot of our competitors, for sure. And the nice thing is, this is safe in all these different metals and finishes, not just for one or two. Most products, when you read a label, one's good for brass, one's good for silver, one's good for copper, stainless steel, etc. There's all different cleaners and polishes. In our case, there's one product, and that's the Flitz. So that basically finishes our polishing episode here. Now I want to show you a few other things that we have for these spray bottles. Flitz, like all companies, have, has expanded into new products. And the first one we're going to take here is a piece of glass. Now this has a lot of water stains on it. You can probably see it here through the camera. This is a good example of a shower door, um, a door entrance area where calcium gets on, especially a sprinkler system. I know where we live here in Wisconsin, we have very hard water. 
beautiful lakes, etc., but our water is very hard. And when you get water spots on glass, it's a bugger to get off. It just doesn't come off very easily. You're somebody scraping with a, with a razor blade. I'm going to take again, like I had before, I had the calcium lime remover. And while I get this set up so I don't get my table too dirty, I'll put some fabric down here so we can absorb the, the moisture. And as I spray this on, I'm going to spray it only in half. You see how instantly the starch takes off calcium like this. Now when I take it off, I'm not even rubbing it, but I'm just going to take water now and rinse it. As soon as I rinse it, you'll see it's clean. I'm not even scrubbing it. Now this is a, not a miracle worker, and I admit when it's really bad at home, I take a brush or some kind of scrubby pad and rub it. But I can just take this and does a unbelievable job of cleaning a piece of glass like this that's really nasty. Now this can be used on stained glass, we use on regular glass, plexiglass, acrylics, whatever you like. But again, the calcium lime remover is a phenomenal product. It's just very, very quick and easy, but again, it's something you have to rinse. And um, glass, especially when it's watered on a lot, you get a lot of calcium on it. Sometimes it'll take two, three applications, but it, every time you do it, you're going to see it get cleaner and cleaner. And a lot of times at home, we use the scrubby pad just because it works well scrubbing it with a piece of nylon. So I'm going to put the glass down over here on the other side of the studio, and then we're going to take a piece of granite. Now, granite, Corian, marble, acrylics, all these, silstone, there's many different brands. It's a big deal. Everywhere you go nowadays, that's what you, everybody wants in their kitchens. Um, you see it in all your hotels, even your inexpensive hotels, all the countertops and things that are granite. But the worst thing on granite is your stains like from makeup, hairspray, food particles, uh, especially fruits and vegetables and things that have a lot of acids in them. Or, of course, alcohol and wine. We all love that, of course, and we know how that stains. So, in this case here, we have a product we call glass, excuse me, granite, glass protectant. Now, we have it under granite because it would be good for all the different stones. It could be marble, granite, soulstone, whatever you have, have corian, and then glass as well. By putting this on top of a finish, like glass and things, you're going to see how slick it gets. Now this is not for flooring. Do not use this on flooring. Believe me, it's super slick. But this is a great product. It's made of a ceramic finish. We're going to spray this on. I'm going to put this a little bit of an angle so my camera guy can catch this. And spray it on over here. And of course normally I'll, we'll do the whole thing but I want to do just half to show you. We'll take another microfiber and we have a nice thick microfiber here that absorbs. When you just take this, wipe it off. You can see the gunk that comes off that's been on here. But more importantly, it's a great cleaner, but the main thing is to protect the finish. The cool thing is when you put this on, I'm going to take a little water bottle here as my best example. Just watch how it slides. It's phenomenal how it protects. When you hit the areas where I didn't do it, it just stops. So when you put this on, it's a phenomenal preservative. And with the bigger bottles, you'll see it even more so. When I was mentioning before how slippery it gets, a lot of times I do our countertop at home, and just for fun, I'll just do part of it, slide a beer over or a glass of wine, it just hits it right over there, it'll stop. But um, the granite and glass protectant is a great pride. It's made of, a, again, as I mentioned before, a ceramic finish, which is your latest technology. It's, hy it's hydrophobic. It's not like waxes and things. When you put this on as a sealer, it's not going to be good forever. It'll last normally around two to three months, and then you can do it again, but it's so fast and easy, we sell to a lot of hospitality because it's quick, it does a phenomenal job, it leaves a beautiful, beautiful finish behind on the granite, and you can feel the results immediately. So when your customers feel that, they can tell right away, wow, that made, made a major difference. Now this product also comes in gallons, and even 55 gallon drums if you like, but um, very handy for not only in housekeeping, and anywhere else you go to. And last and final, we talked about stainless steel before. And I'm going to pull my stainless steel out that I have out here one more time. Before I use the regular Fliss polish on here. Now this stainless steel, stainless steel, as we have said before, is stainless, not stain proof. Elevators, escalators, fingerprints, all this is always an issue. 
Now Flitz makes two products. One, let me get the right one out here. One is a stainless steel and chrome cleaner. Now if you notice it says cleaner, it doesn't say polish. The other one is a stainless steel polish protectant. Now there's two different products, two different colors. The reason why they're definitely different. Now we do it a little differently. Most companies sell the cleaner slash polish all in one bottle. Well, you really cannot clean and polish with all the same product because when you're cleaning, you're removing. You're removing grease and oil and everything else. When you're polishing, you're putting something on top to give a nice shine and luster and protect the finish. So one of the things with our, these products, when you do an elevator escalator, you spray these on. And again, you take a clean microfiber and you wipe it off. You want to wipe like this. But once you do that, you'll see a difference because this is a, definitely the cleaner. This takes off oil, cooking grease, you know, on your hoods, around your kitchen areas, your stove, refrigerators, things like this, escalators, elevators, anywhere where you're touching a lot. Because one thing people hate, number one question I get constantly is fingerprints. Will this remove fingerprints? Yes, it removes fingerprints, but it's not a polish. It's not a protectant. It's a cleaner. In other words, it cleans it. It brings it back to life. It brings it out like it should be. I tell folks, when you've used oil-based products to clean your stainless steel, and 99% of most products out there are oil-based, some are water-based, but they're still very smeary when you touch them and smear. When you put this on, this cleans it. This takes off the real nasty, um, oily film that you get. You don't get the smearing that way. If you notice when I did this here with the stainless steel cleaner, you do not get fingerprints. Because you don't get fingerprints, you're not getting the oil in buildup like that. So use the cleaner as a cleaner. Use the polish to give it the shine. This gives you the, I call the uh, showroom look. And by putting this on, you spray this on. Now in this case, I take another clean microfiber. I do not use the same microfiber. I use one microfiber for the cleaner, one for the polish. You do not want to take the same ones because they get contaminated. You put this on and you wipe it off. It's super, super slick. Just like I did like granite before. And of course, I can't show it to you in a, in a big piece here because it's a small area that I'm doing. But um, it is unbelievably slick. You don't get the finger marks. The reason you don't get the finger marks, there's no oil. So by putting this on top of your refrigerators and all your appliances and things afterwards, it not only will give you a beautiful finish, it'll keep it that way. But you need to clean it first. And if you use oil-based cleaners in the past, which probably most people have, you might need a cleaner like this two or three times first to get all the oil and everything off because the stainless steel should almost come out white. Once the oil and grease is off, that's when you put your polish. And this is fantastic on large, large areas. Of course, all these products come not only in the sizes I'm demonstrating here today, they come in gallons. We also have smaller sample bottles and different things like that for testing. But truly, the product is super, super easy. Everything from Flitz is 100% money back guaranteed. We're a 45-year-old company, as I said, family-owned, run for many years. We have a staff now of over 20 people we're very proud of that aren't all family, but they're great people, and uh, they are family because they're part of the team now. But more importantly, uh, if you have any customer questions, you can call anybody here at Flitz on our phone numbers. We are very good about customer service, trying to answer those questions for you. We're really blessed. A lot of people do blogs and do things online with us, show how products have been used and what they, how they brag about it. Everything's guaranteed, 100% money back guaranteed, no matter what size you purchase. Uh, we don't have a time limit to it or anything like that. We don't do business that way. Either you, you like it or you don't like it. But um, 99, 9 tenths, we get the likes. We get a lot of likes. We are basically five-star rated no matter where you go. But thank you for your time. Appreciate your help. And this is Oli from Flitz. Until next time. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you like what you saw, hit the like button and subscribe. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram too. Remember, Flitz it.